Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss about the adsorption of water vapor with the help of activated carbon using spun adsorption. So, first of all, we will open the spun adsorption. So, spun adsorption. Open the spun adsorption. This is the spun adsorption. Now, we will add the component. So click on the component list and click on configure property. Click on use SPAN property system and click on edit using SPAN property. Click on this one. So SPAN property tab will open. So we will wait for it to open the SPAN property tab. So we will add the component which is the air which consists of moisture. Uh, water vapor. So we will absorb the water vapor from the air mixture. So uh, this is the SPAN. Click on the component. So these are the component. The one is air and air consists of water vapor. So water. So now click on the method. So we will use the uh, ideal gas method. Click on ideal and click on next. So click on OK. And here you will see processing input specification. Now the results are available. OK. Now close this. Click on this one. OK button. And click on yes. So. OK. Now. Click on default and add these components to the component list. So double click, click on this double arrow and click on OK. Now it is ready. So now we will go to the blue sheet. This is the blue sheet. This is the library. Click on the library and click on the it's in. So it is a gas system, gas dynamic system. Click on gas dynamic system and this is the gas speed. Drag it now this is the gas bed the absorbent and click on the product so this is the feed and this is the uh, uh, gas product gas product so okay you can rename these but it is okay you can rename it click on b1 and rename block so it is feed feed and you can also rename the bed so rename the block this bed and this is the product click on it and rename the block it is product gas okay now this is the product this is the bed now connect these material stream with bed so this is the connection and here this is the gas material connection click on this one and here you can see click on this one and connect connect the product stream disconnected okay now double click on field the field stream will open that is the model type is a reversible pressure setter true and mole okay specify so the field molar fluoride is this one by default so we assume that the field molar fluoride is this one and the air consists of suppose it consists of 90% air and 10% water vapor 10% water water vapor and it is at 300 kelvin temperature and 2 bar pressure okay and it is a mole fraction this is the mole fraction of air mole fraction of water vapor okay now uh, double click on the bed the bed so this is the bed and here the bed is vertical and it is in one dimensional ok click on this one and here you will see the block configuration the general the discretization method is UDS1 and the number of nodes is 20 you can change this number but I am assuming 20 number of nodes the momentum and the material and momentum balance so it is a convection and the momentum balance assumption is argon equation so you can use the karman cosine equation and the argon or darcy i am using the argon equation click on the kinetic model 
The film model assumption is solid. It can be solid or fluid. So it is solid is okay. The kinetic model assumption is a lump resistance and it is a linear and the mass transfer coefficient is constant. Okay. The isothermal, click on isothermal. So it is a constant temperature uh, process and I am using the Langmuir friendly isotherm. And the isotherm dependency is suppose it is on partial pressure basis. Okay. Now the energy balance, so it is isothermal process. So I am using the isothermal, click on isothermal and there is no reaction in the bed and now click specify on, on the bed. So here the, the height of the adsorbent bed layer. So I am assuming a 3 meter and the bed internal diameter of the adsorbent layer is suppose it is 6.4 meter and the uh, 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 enter particle void edge suppose it is 0 0.3 and the intra particle void edge is suppose it is 0.1 and the particle density it is activated carbon so uh, the activated carbon the density is suppose it is 1480 kilogram per cubic meter and the uh, adsorbent particle radius is uh, uh, 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter and it is a spherical particle so its sphericity is 1 1 okay and the mass transfer coefficient is suppose it is 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 for water vapor the isothermal pyramid for air is 111. I am assuming this isothermal pyramid. Okay. Okay. Uh, close this one. Now click on initial. So here uh, I will assume that it is 90% air and 10% water vapor. Okay. Now click on initialize and click on yes. Now it is ready. So close this one, close this one and here you can see this is the product, click on it and click on specify. So the uh, product pressure is suppose I am assuming this one and it is okay. Okay, close this one and now go to this new form, click on new form and click on plot. So I am uh, plotting the breakthrough curve. Breakthrough curve. Click on OK. And suppose the time is uh, the time is suppose it is from 0 to 1200. And the grade interval is suppose it is 200. And the time window is 1200 second. Click on OK. Now double click on the product and click on the results. Plot the results of the product stream, which is air air and the second one is water wafer water wafer okay close this one and close this table also now click on this this one so here okay close this one and click on this run option so it is the time now is zero and the i am i am pausing my simulation at 1200 second check this one and click on ok and now click on the run button so the time start the time so the simulation is completed click on ok here you can see this is the fraction of water vapor and air